Hey guys, it's Paul. It was just real sunny five minutes ago. I'm packing up the car to uh, go mail detect. Look at those clouds coming in. Can you see them moving there? Can you even see white caps across the lake there? So, I don't know, it's like a storm cell moving by. I'm hoping it passes. It's not windy here, but it's crazy windy right there across half the lake. So anyway, I'm going to go. I don't even know if I'm going to take the camera or not. But I'll do a wrap up when I get home. I'm going to try to Silver Park, I think. Well, hello YouTube. It's Paul, and we are inbound to the Silver Beach. And we had a storm pass through. It's funny, just about an hour ago, and it cleared up. Super clear, really nice. Sun come out. Never knew it rained. Everything dried up. Then, in almost no time, these clouds rolled in. The wind has just picked up nuts. And looks like I could get dumped on at any time. And this will be the third day in a row if I get shut out again. Shut down early anyway, not shut out. I usually get a few minutes in and that's it. This will be the third hunt in a row. <laughs> this is just a total opposite from last year when we had a, a drought and we had in front of our seawall we had about 12, 14 feet of dry ground. Now, you know, it's back the way it should be with like a foot, foot and a half of water there. But it, it, every day the lake's going up and up. It's just crazy. Total opposite from last year. Anyway, we're going to make a turn here in a minute and hit the Silver Beach. Well, here's the story. Thunder off in the distance. Wind seems like it's blowing everything away. So we may be able to get a little bit of time in if this here blows past. I'm going to work on this grass here a little before I get in the water, I think. Just till the lightning passes and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, well, first target of the day, it's, uh, I think it's a 71, 70 something anyway, quarter. Well, so far it looks like the, our bet's paying off. I thought it might pass. I don't know if you can see the little rainbow. I don't know if the camera's getting it, but it's there and looks to me like a lot of the bad weather's going that way. Wind's pushing it out of here, so we'll take that as a good sign. Maybe there's some gold at the end of that rainbow. I'm gonna find out. Here's an example of the pennies here compared to the other beach. The other beach where I hunt polishes them, they come out looking beautiful. Here it eats them up. I don't understand it. All I know is when you see that thing shining in the hole, you think you got something. No, you got junk though. <clears throat> I'll give you guys an idea of the trash here. Now keep in mind I've got iron and iron is discriminated out, it don't show. Just walking in random. <laughs> so I try to just go for, like if I hear that squeaker. See it right there? Now that one might be worth digging right there. In amongst all that are trash. Isn't that nuts though? So? I thought you guys would get a kick out. Well, storm seems like it's passed. I was coming back to the truck, and this is the parking lot, by the way. So yeah, you can see we've had some rain. But I've got about half a dozen pennies right out of this little puddle right here. In fact, I just had to turn the thing off. I'd sit here all day digging them. So I want to get in the water after maybe something better. We'll see. I forgot my uh, tether in the truck. This is what I was coming back for. I learned I don't want to use Betsy without my lanyard, so. Yeah, you could sit here all day and just dig this clad. Well, first water fine. Penny, not bad. Well, got a weedy anyway. 
and it appears I've cleaned up at home, but it looks like it's in really good shape. Well, I guess she don't want the camera that close. Old Lola. So yeah, it looks, it's really smooth, so. Um, we'll see what we get a at the house. 19, what's it saying? 40 something. 47 or something. Well, I've been scoring a whole bunch of these old timey uh, pop cap things, so I guess that means there's old stuff here. I was going to show you this old piece of driftwood. It looks pretty cool. Um, I can't zoom in too good because it's moving and the waves are pushing me and stuff. Kind of old time. Uh, Designs on it, you know. Who knows how long it's been in here. It's pretty cool looking though. Okay guys, I apologize for the lights. Not good in here. and We uh, don't have our studio area set up with our lights and all because um, I'm still in the middle of the remodel. I have been doing it with uh, summer and everything. So anyway, this is the result. So today's... Uh, Adventure. Got some pennies, got two nickels, quarter, dime had me going. I thought, oh man, that looks black like that silver quarter I had, but it's not 2004 version. There's a big hunk of aluminum, some iron, a bunch of pull tabs. This didn't come up, this is just like uh, glass, just getting it off the beach, but it must have been there a while. It's really smooth. Tiny little piece of brass. Got a 1947 wheat. That's in. It's in pretty nice shape. Out of the wheat so far, it's a 47D. It looks like it's about in the best shape. Yeah. And then our one's a 52. I haven't tried to clean it up or nothing. It's pretty rough though. And I think this one's uh oh, where are you at? It's really hard to see. It's forty one or forty something. Not sure at all. Haven't really tried to clean it up, but it's pretty well toast. But it's always fun finding them. So yeah, three weeks. That's not a bad little hunt. Wasn't there long. And um, didn't get hit by lightning, so that's always a plus the way I see it. <laughs> Be watching you guys and your videos. I appreciate the views. Take it easy and see you soon.